kids. I mean, you famously, when you were a Formula One driver, they'd ask you a really complicated question and you'd just say, yes. Yes. That's right, yes. is it? It's super disappointing. I mean, ah, god damn it, you know. Jesus, you know. Could it be, could it be fantastic, a fantastic finish for me here, you know. It, would, it was going so easy and I didn't even have to push. I was just more or less cruising, you know, short shifting, braking early, accelerating gently, but it just didn't work out this time for me over here, you know. Tästä mä saan kyllä kuulla tästä tyyppiä. <laughs> no, I would not do that, Eli, don't worry. <laughs> tästä mä saan kuulla tietysti, eli siitä, että et missä siinä... <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Eli, sorry. <laughs> uh, thank you, gentlemen. The, the circus continues tomorrow. The Hungarian Grand Prix is popular with the Finns and former world champion Mika Hakkinen is one of the most famous. First time you hold the umbrella and the top of the two good drivers. <laughs> if not the most humorous. Mika, was that the best start of your career? I'm sorry? Was that the best start of your career? Third to first, boom, straight in. No, not really. Michael Schumacher said that you were the only driver he really feared. <laughs> when the first three in the Spanish Grand Prix, Mika Hakkinen, David Coulthard and Michael Schumacher. Mika, the perfect lights to flag victory. It looked very easy, was it? Oh yeah, it was so easy, you can't believe it. No, it wasn't. Which is 1974 Formula One car. So when you look at this, this was Emerson Fittipaldi's championship winning car. Is this a car you remember from your childhood? No. <laughs> I knew, knew that way following Michael, you know, it's, it's no point to try to follow him and then try to overtake him and the straight because obviously he's not going to give me a room. It's correct? Yeah. So I took plan B and overtook the back marker and at the same time overtook to Michael. And it was great over overtaking when you were, and I loved it. I'm not sure if the Michael did. I quite like to have the air vents on my car all pointing the same way. Exactly. Is that finish? Uh, no. As a consequence of the spin that you just mentioned, uh, you made up for it with an absolutely spectacular and heart-stopping overtaking manoeuvre. Can you talk us through that? Yes, it... it it was it was quite a different one. <laughs> well, you've always wanted to drive this. I've always wanted to drive that. No disrespect to the M23. So the only fair way, old-fashioned, toss a coin, heads or tails? Tails. Sorry, you lost. Right, ah. I'm in this one. <laughs> That's not fair, Dad. What? <laughs> not, what do you mean not fair? <laughs> Come on, the least you can do is okay, let me, let me go first. I can see the helmet is already there. I'll, so let, you, you I'll let you go first no. <laughs> in Hereth and Melbourne. So you can let me go first <laughs> now. We had a deal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, the deal is I get to drive this. Okay. Get, get your helmet on. Go for it. Oh, yeah. Guys, well, really? Yeah. Mika, starting with you, it was an absolutely incredible race to watch. What was it like to be part of it and win it? Well, it was incredible. <laughs> it, it was, uh, it, it was uh, incredible. <laughs> And here they come then, Fernando Alonso has got the move on Mika Hakkinen and he's gone past him. Fernando Alonso comes through to take victory. It's something to do with the weight advantage. I weigh 78 kilos. How heavy are you? 95. <laughs> good luck, buddy. I cannot hear you. <laughs> it doesn't matter, just good luck, enjoy. 